Hi guys. Come and say hello. Should I do this so I can see what I'm doing? You may see a big mess behind me. I've, as I've mentioned before, during my Shed Tidy Up, I discovered that I had quite a lot of resources that apparently when people asked me for things, I couldn't find, so I'd order some more. And having gone through the shed, there was absolutely loads. So there's a big pile behind me. I don't think we're going to get through all of it today, but we're going to have a look at a few little bits. But before we have a look at that, I was just wondering how everyone is getting on. So give me a wave, say hello, and tell me what you've been up to today. My big exciting thing today has been I've managed to colour my hair. I've gotten rid of, well, most, I won't say all, but most the grey, which was really, really nice. And I even managed to have a soak in the bath for a little while. So once Dad had got back from his exercise, he took over looking after the boys and I went upstairs and hid for a good 45 minutes. I think it's the first 45 minutes I've actually had to myself for the last six weeks. I'm feeling a little bit more human now. So let me know what you've been up to. Have you managed to do anything nice for yourself today? Hopefully we'll get some comments in a minute. If not, if no one feels like chatting, I will start going through a few bits and pieces that we have um, in stock at the moment. The first thing, because a lot of you guys won't have seen this, so you all know my Totsy Monkey. <laughs> Lisa, I think every time I see you online, Oscar's asleep. Oh, and you've been for a lovely walk to Tetanel. That sounds good. I need to get back out walking again. I haven't been up to it the last few days with the weather and just with everything. Just haven't felt up to it. But um, I definitely need to get back out. I did feel much better myself when I was managing to fit a walk in as well. So I definitely need to get back into that as well. But you'll all know my Totsy. My big Totsy Papa, I do have one of him in stock and he is, I'll look up his price in a minute, but what I do have, I have a new Totsy. He's not a puppet. He's a soft toy. He doesn't have a hole in his bottom. He's a soft, cuddly toy. So I haven't taken him out of his wrapping because that's how he's arrived to me, but he's really soft. He's, he's been eating plenty. He hasn't gone hungry during lockdown. He's got a nice, plump tummy. There's our little baby Totsy. So here we have our big Totsy and our baby Totsy. I think he's very cute. <laughs> he has. I was going to say, he'll wait until you actually want to sit down and eat and then he's going to wake up for you, Lisa. <laughs> but he's really, really cute. He's 10 pounds, is my little baby Totsy. I have three of him. I have two. I did have three. I need to find the other one. I think some of my monkeys may have hidden him away in the hopes that I don't notice. So I don't think he's been played with, but I will find my third one. If he has been played with, I'll get to keep him. Otherwise, so I've either got two or three of him at the moment. Um, but the ones, the things that I did want to go through with you, because head office have set these up specifically for whilst we're in lockdown, is we've got two big stay um, play at home bundles. So do we want the noisy one first? Let's do the noisy one first. So the first one I've got, I've just put them in little baskets to make them easy for me to go through. So this one is the instrument bundle. The, um, yeah, I think it is just referred to the instrument at home bundle. I'll double check so you know what you're looking for. The music at home pack. So this one's called the music at home pack. Now, this one's £18, and I have to say, if you bought the indiv items individually, it would cost you an awful lot more. That's really, really good value. But you get one of the little maracas, which are really nice size for the tots to hold onto themselves. You also get one of the egg maracas, so they've got something for each hand or something for you to have while they're having the other one. It's got both wrist bells and the stick bells. So it's got one of each of those. Well, when they start getting a bit older, or if you've already got an older top, they can have it straight away. Um, and these are really good for you to hold on to and let them do it. It's got one of the triangles, 
So the, the little yellow loop's not actually attached to it at the moment, but you just thread that through so you're holding on to so you're not putting any tension on the metal triangle so it makes a nice ringing sound. And it's got the little beat up with it as well. Now these are great. When they're younger, I would say you hold on to the little yellow loop and give them the dinger, the beater to give it a tap with. And then as they get older and understand just to hold on to the yellow ring, they can have a go themselves. But these are great. And with being proper, nice, solid metal ones, they're proper triangles, um, they'll last a lifetime. They'll last forever. We also have, a tambourine in there, and some of our castanets. Now I'm just going to pop this one out the bag so I can show you how it works. So I've got a few different coloured ones. It's just a random collection. If you do have a particular colour preference, I have had a few of you contact me in the past where you're doing sensory collections and want some specific colours so you can use it in your colour collections as well. If you drop me an email after your order, I will do my best to meet your request, but I can't promise, and I will get back in touch if I can't and come up with some alternatives. But they just tap backwards and forwards. So rather than the finger ones where they have to clip them together, these ones are great because they can hold them in their little fist and give them a shake and get a great sound out of them. They're nice and easy to use. So as I say, the, the Music at Home pack, which is 18 packs, 18 packs? Oh dear, maybe I shouldn't have gone for that bath. Um, 18 pounds contains all of that. So I'll just go through it once again. So you've got your castanet, your tambourine, your triangle, egg maraca, sick bells, wrist bells, and maraca. So all of that. 18 pounds which I have to say I think is fantastic value now I only have three of those in stock so I can get more I think I didn't I must admit I didn't check the in stockness of them on the head office website but I actually I have three of those in stock now if you want any individual items of course I can do those as well um, the triangles I think looking at that, the triangles are the thing that I only have the three of. So I've only got them for the um, music packs. So if it's just something like the triangle you want, I'd have to order some of those in for you. The, but with everything else, I have a few extras in stock. Now, if you want to order, it is, thank you, it is great value. It's amazing. Um, if you want to order one of those, I'm not sure. There should be a link showing up somewhere that's got a link to my online order point. If you click on that, it will take you through and just look for the music at home pack. Um, if you really struggle to find it, drop me an email and I will email you the direct link to that one. Now, the next one I have for you, again, is a really good bundle. And if you are doing my online classes, um, you'll have pretty much everything you need to do all the classes in this pack. So I'll go through this one. This one is £22. So it's a little bit more expensive, but it also has absolutely loads in it. Now, what I would say is if you wanted both packs, I would swap out two of the items for you and replace it with something else, just because there's two of the items that are replicated in both packs. But considering how many different items we have, it is only two items that are copied. So I think they've done really well at head office. So this one's £22. The first thing you get is a beach ball. Now, we use balls in a lot of our activities. Now, obviously, this one's not blown up. But we use this all the way through from our baby development course all the way through to our action tots, which goes up to about four to five years of age. So this will last you a really long time. And I don't have one blown up in here, but one of the sessions I'll do, I'll go through all a few different activities you, you can do with this. But the first thing you get is a beach ball. The second thing you get is one of my favourite things, my ribbon rings. These are fantastic. Now, we use these for a few different songs, um, and sometimes these are much easier for our younger tots to hold for some of our songs rather than the scarves that we use when we're doing our dancing around and then mum or dad can have the scarf while the tops have this one. So we've got that one. You also get one of our tickly feathers. Ooh, very nice, tickly feathers. You get one of our sensory balls. Now this one's one of our spiky ones. Don't know if you can see because the sun's decided to come out now that I'm doing this. 
these flash and they've got those nice soft spikes on as well. Now I can, if you already have a spiky one and you would like a smiley one instead, I can do that because they're both the same. So this is what the smiley ones look like. And again, they flash as well. So if you've already got spiky balls at home and you don't really want another one, and that's what's stopping you being interested in this pack, let me know and I'll swap it out for a smiley one. The other thing you get is one of our sensory blankets. Now, these are great for stimulating the sense of sight, sense of touch, sense of hearing. They do absolutely loads and they're massive. I always say to people, cut it in half, pop half away, or when, you, when we're out of lockdown, I'd say take it to the grandparents, but at the moment, pop half away for when it does wear out because they do eventually tear and wear out. But these are absolutely fantastic. We have in here, and this is one of the items that is duplicated. Oh, what was the other item? Oh, I've missed one. I know what it was. So <laughs> you get a set of wrist bells in this one as well. You get the other item that's replicated, if I haven't gone mad. I'll just double check. Is, where's the play at home pack? Yes. The other item that is replicated is this one. So if I'll go through the other items and then I'll show you what I've swapped those two out for. In the play at home pack, you also get one of our little mirrors. So some of the activities we do, um, you can use mirrors for, especially for the body awareness ones and um, doing some, just getting them to see what they're doing themselves. So, oops. Sorry, didn't mean to blind you with that one. So there is a little mirror in there. So it's got nice, easy handle for them to hold as well. And the last thing in there is one of our peekaboo scarves. So again, that's got absolutely loads in it as well. So how many items? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I think, if I'm counting correctly. So nine different items in that one. Now, if you like that, you wanted that pack, but you wanted also get the instrument pack, so you didn't want to end up with the two wrist bells and two egg maracas. Now, some of you may want that. That's absolutely fine, because I know some of you like having a bell on ankle and wrist so that they can have a big shake all over. But if you did want to swap them out, um, if you message me and let me know that you bought both packs, I can swap those two out on the second pack for one of my magic ones, my mini spinners. So I'll take those two out for you and put that one in, because this... These are fantastic, and I'll show you those in a moment because I'll make it a bit darker so you can see what it looks like because these are great, and I go through loads of these. So I don't have that many of those in stock, but I do have a few if you want those. So again, so I'll just go through them again. So it's a scarf, our bells, and our egg maraca, a foil blanket, a feather, ribbon rings, sensory ball, mirror and a beach ball so absolutely low for 22 pounds so as i said if you want that again click on the link and it is the play at home pack now each of those items is also available individually as well and the one in there that is means that i only have three of those as well is the mirrors they're not listed separately on the um, site because I only have them for the Play at Home packs. We don't usually sell them. We've included them specifically for the Play at Home packs because usually in class we would have mirrors that we use ourselves. Um, and so, yeah, so they're only those mirrors are only available in the Play at Home packs. So what else do I have for you? Now, I don't have many of these, but I did discover I still have a couple of my crazy balls. Now, those of you that have made it into class and have encountered these before know that the tots either love or hate these, and they do, as grown-ups, we tend to get fed up of them quicker than the tots do because they make a horrendous sound. <laughs> They're one of those, the tots love them, the grown-ups not so much. So I'll turn this on for a moment so you can see what it does. So it bounces around and it makes a noise as you can hear, and flashes lights. But the top hold onto it and they look like they're standing on the vibro plate at the gym. And it's hysterical. But, and or you can put them on the floor and let them chase around them. Now, they do have these stoppers on. So it does help protect your floor and furniture. They do sometimes pop off like this, but they're really easy just to pop back on again. But again, as with all sensory play, it is a supervised play because 
Um, you don't want them putting them in their mouths. They do have the safety holes in the little stoppers as well. Um, but hopefully we would never want to get to that point. So make sure if you are playing with something like this or any of the sensory items, that it is always supervised. I know I say that all the time. You're probably sick of me saying it, but I wouldn't hate for an accident to happen. Um, but it is high plastic. So if you have pets, don't let the pets near them because one bite and it will go straight through. Um, and the other thing, and I did not think I would ever have to give this warning, but from parental feedback, they don't go well on trampolines and getting bounced off. They don't tend to survive. They're not really designed to be bounced on the trampoline with someone jumping up and down. So, yes, apparently one didn't survive that um, experiment. It did bounce off and land on a very hard floor and crack. So, yes, if you do have one and you have older children, um, whilst my boys absolutely love this, I do have to hide this from my boys. Um, they, they get allowed to play with it on very special occasions. <laughs> um, but, yeah, not on the trampoline. I did not think I would have to say that ever, but apparently. Um, also, if your tot is at that throwing stage, you might want to keep quite close because, again, it's not designed to be thrown from a height. It is designed to vibrate on the floor and bounce around or be held and vibrate. So just be aware of that with that. Um, these are six pounds, these ones. Um, and as I say, I think I've got three of these in stock. So they are great fun. They are really noisy, but they are great fun. The other thing that I have a few of, I have these. I'm going to open this one up so it doesn't it isn't all crinkly while I talk to you. Now, if anyone has any questions about the items that I'm showing you or about an item that I haven't shown you but you know I usually stock, please feel free to ask. Or if you want me to hold something up closer to the camera so you can see it, um, this one is one of our jelly stars. So we used to sell some LED stars that were like a hard plastic. This one's the jelly one. Now, these are great in that one of the things that I don't like about these balls, I love these balls, I really do, but one of the things I don't like about them is it doesn't take an awful lot of movement to set off the light. So if they get bumped around a lot, sometimes you actually then go to play with it and the, the battery and the light's worn out. What I like about these ones is you actually have to turn them on and off. So it's really easy to do. I'm going to say that and then it not work. Oh, I knew that would happen. So you meant to just, oh, there we go. You have to squeeze in the right place. So you just have to give them a squeeze and then they flash and they're really bendy, so it's not like this one's quite firm, like the bend, the spikes do bend, but it is quite firm. This one is quite different. It's really jelly, almost sticky in feeling, so it does feel quite different. Now, this also has, I'm not going to unwind this one, but it has like a little um, loop on it. So for older children, they could wear it as a necklace if they were going to a party or something like that, if you're having a disco. But where this works really great, if you've got an activity gym, or if you make one of the cardboard box activity gyms, if you have these and hang them down, you can have them flashing on there because it is just a popper. So it just clips together. Now, they, they're quite easy to pull apart. So if they did pull on it, it would just come undone. So not every time they touch it, it's not that sensitive that as soon as they touch it, it's going to fall off. But if they did give it a good tug, it would, it would just come undone. So they're quite funky. And then to turn it off again, just another squeeze. You might be like me where it takes a few, there we go, a few attempts. But once you work out where the on and off is, it is just a squeeze on and a squeeze off. And if your children are anything like mine, I spend a few minutes trying to find it and they just do it first time. I don't know. They have much better toy instinct than I do. But these are great. There's a few different colours of those. Again, it's random unless you make a specific request. They're just $2.50. They're not very expensive at all. And they're great fun and last quite a long time. So there's those as well. What else do I have? Now, for our older ones, we do have some of our quotes. We do have a few of these in stock. Not many, I must admit. I used to have quite a few, but they've sold. I've sold quite a few recently. I think I've got four left. So I've got an orange one, and I've got this blue one. 
Now, they are, for some reason, at different times, they've come through in slightly different sizes. It doesn't make them any better, any worse than each other. I use both in classes. Um, it's just two different batches that have come through and that, you know, there's always that variance tolerance in manufacturing. So there's a couple of different ones of those. Let me just look up how much they are for you. That comes in, not now light up item. That comes in our sensory items. The quotes are four fifty. So these are four fifty each. I do have. I know I'm not going to say that because I am not a hundred percent. I will have to double check. I'll do another one of these sessions in a week or so's time. We'll have our shopping channel. Um, but I'm not sure if I've got any bean bags in stock. I've had quite a few people buy them recently. I have a feeling the last time I went looking for them. It might have been my last ones. But if anyone does want bean bags, message me or order them, but know it might take a couple of days. Again, it's a, a um, random choice. They come in blue, yellow, green, and red. And again, I think they're for four fifty each as well. Yeah, the, the bean bags are four fifty each. So that's probably nearly everything I have, except for telling you some of the prices of the individual items, and that might also give you an idea of. Um, especially with the bundles, how much of a saving they are. So if I do this one first, so for example, if you wanted a bit, um, beach ball on its own, they are 350 on their own. So the beach balls are 350 on their own. I have a couple of different designs. If there's some, I think I have this um, music, so it's all got like radios and music type symbols on, and another one that's ice creams. So that you can get a, a few different varieties of those. Our ribbon rings, which I actually, I've met, just had a whole heap of those come in just before lockdown. So, no, sorry, just after lockdown. I put the order in just after lockdown because I know these had been really popular just as classes were, um, as we'd started classes and then ended up coming from home. But these ones are 450 as well, but these are great. So you've got the different ribbons, the different colours. So when we do our um, little bit of red song, these are great because we've got all the colours in the song on here. They've also got some little bells and the wooden ring, making them nice and easy for our tops to hold. The foil blankets are four pounds on their own. The feathers are two pounds. Our sensory balls, either the spiky ones or the smiley ones, are two pounds fifty. Our bells, either the wrist bells or the ankle but the wrist bell, wrist ankle bells or the stick bells. They're $3.50 each for those. Our little eggs, how much were they? Because they were, please might let me find them. Actually, let's go back to there. So the scar, the other one was the scar, and they are three fifty dollars as well. So I have a few different colours of those, it's like a little rainbow of colours here. So we have those. They're 3 50 on their own as well. So it was the eggs that I needed to find out how much they are for you. And if you want to know what I'm looking at, I'm actually on my own on the, the order point website to have a look as well, just to make sure that the price I tell you is what you're going to see on there. Because I know that there have been, um, from when we were doing them in class, there were some prices that went up and some prices that have gone down. We like the ones that go down. Um, these are... Oh, I can't find them. They were either three fifty or four fifty. I can't remember. But I, I will have a look and I'll pop it in the comments. But those ones. So for our instruments, if anyone's after just specific instruments because they've already had some off me in the past, I will just go through those with you as well. Not that one. Range of instruments. So we have. The little maracas. So these ones on their own, these are £2.50. The castanets are £3.50. The stick bells, we talked about £3.50, but something I do want to tell you, because some people forget that these are an instrument as opposed to a toy, is each time you let your top play with one of the stick bells, just remember to make sure each of the bells are firmly attached. 
over time, because it's in a little screw, over time, the shaking will loosen them off. So you sometimes you just need to give them a little twist to make sure that they're firmly in. If at any point any of those come loose, just take it out. It was, it's got 10 bells on there. Um, but yeah, don't give it to your tot if any of those bells are loose, because if they come off, they'll put them in their mouth and those screw-in things are quite sharp on the end. I've never had a problem with it. I always check them each week when we come back from classes to make sure that they're all nice and tight. Um, but yes, I have had some par some parents forget to do that and then ones come up loose. Obviously, they've noticed straight away because they're supervising. But it is worth just making sure every single time that you use your top their bells, their stick bells, that those bells are nice and tightly attached. Our tambourines are four pounds fifty. So they've got the four little discs on, nice and easy for them to hold. And with being plastic, they're easy to keep clean as well. So I think that is all of those. Is there anything else? Does anyone have any questions about any of the items? Come and ask me some questions rather than me just talking at you all the time. What else do we have? Oh, the other thing that I showed you was the magic wands. Don't know if it's dark enough for you to see it. So these, you might hear that it's vibrating a bit. But you can see the colours. Now I'm just going to put it over there. You might be able to see the colours a bit better against the dark background because it's gone a bit brighter than what it had. Now these are five pounds. Now our tops absolutely love these. And because they vibrate, they'll often hold them against their gums, especially when they're teething. It's like a little massage. Now, the one thing I like about these is we've had them in the part. Um, Lisa, it should be, it's telling me that it should be featured somewhere. If at the end it hasn't, it's not showing up, what I'll do is I'll pop it in the comments myself as well. So if you haven't, can't find it, don't stress. I will pop it in the comments as well. Um, and also on the VIP letter email, there is a link to it in there as well. I always include it in there as well. So if you can't find it um, and you're desperate, you can always pop on there. Um, <laughs> you got it, Pat. <laughs> so. Um, but these five pounds, they vibrate, they're really shiny. And what I like about these ones is I've seen them in the shop for around the same price. But they often, they don't have um, changeable batteries, whereas these ones you can change the batteries. So when they go flat, take the batteries out, pop some new ones in. Um, they can be a little bit fiddly where you need to um, just jiggle them around to make sure that they're on all the contacts. It takes three triple A batteries when you come to replace them. But these come with batteries in them. I will say these ones don't come with batteries in them and take four double A batteries. So these ones do, you will need to have some batteries on hand to pop in those ones. Um, but these ones do come with batteries already in them. And I have to say these are my one of my best sellers. These I sell out of these all the time. Um, what else? I think that is most things. If you are after some bigger pieces of equipment, I do have some of the big hoops. I occasionally get asked for them. I do have some of those. The other thing I do have, actually, is oh, I have left one of each colour of these, the soft touch balls. These are £8 each. Now, I usually, when I'm in doing delivering them in classes, I would blow them up before handing them to you because they just need a, they just get, they come to me deflated. Um, they just take a normal bicycle pump um, needle pump to blow them up. So if you do want one of these, they are on the website. Um, if you need it blown up, please let me know. But it might just be a bit interesting to get it to you. <laughs> Mr. Tots probably won't be able to do his motorbike delivery. He might, if, you, if he's have, having one of these, he might have to come in the car because I'm not sure it will fit in his pannier because he, he pops the little delivery bags in his panniers and comes out and uses the motorbike as a, my deliveries as an excuse to get to go out on his motorbike. I will say, for those of you that are concerned about us doing deliveries, um, we do tie in with doing some um, essential food shopping as well, or dropping things off to our, to my mother-in-law, his mum, because she's quite elderly. So we're trying to stop her going out and about. 
So that's easier said than done. I don't know if anyone else has older parents or parent-in-laws who don't like being told what to do. Not None of us do, but yes. Yeah, she doesn't like being told that she should be staying in. She's very good at finding excuses to pop pop out. Just I just need to pop out, um, which is lovely. And it's great that she's doing getting her little bits of exercise. But we do we do worry, so we do try and make sure that as much as possible she has everything that she needs. Um, but other than that, if you've got any questions about any items, have a look on the website. Um, you can always pop pop back and pop some comments on. Um, I will probably do. And say, you've got good parents, Lisa. Mine. <laughs> and so, yes, I, I really, I mean, she doesn't have any underlying health conditions, which I think is why she's feeling nice and brave. But, yeah, I, I really wish she was a, a bit, she did what she was told a little bit better. But I can't, she, she's in her mid 70s or late 70s. And, yes. She, she doesn't like being told what to do. We've had a couple of shopping deliveries dropped off to her from the ASDA and made sure that she's all well and truly stocked up. So it, it is just things like bread, milk that she's popping out for. So at least she's only going down to a local shop and she stands outside and waits until it's empty. But yes, I would, I would feel much happier if she was stopping in. So, but I think... That shows you most of my goodies. There, you will see some other things on the online shop. I probably do have most of those in stock. Um, one of the things I do have is I have one or two of the little clapping hands. They're only a pound. Um, I must admit they're not my favourite thing in the world. If you, I much prefer, I will be honest and say, um, this. They're like a, a cheap plastic version of these, and yes, they are much cheaper. But personally, I much prefer these. I don't usually keep clapping hands, the plastic clapping hands in stock, but I have had a couple of requests for them. Um, so I have got a couple left over from routine customers' um, orders, but I would much prefer to pay the extra £2.50 and go for these. I think these last much longer and feel much nicer as well. But that's a personal thing. Um, Sometimes if they're older children, they leave the younger children's toys alone <laughs> and we've all been there. But other than that, I think that is most of my items. So hopefully you've enjoyed having a little look at all the bits and pieces. As I say, um, if you're looking this on playback and you've got any questions, feel free to email me, message me and everything else. Otherwise... I shall see you all soon. Um, don't forget we have our 2.30 p.m. Um, social Zoom tomorrow as well. Um, it's really lovely when I get to see some of you and actually have a chat because sometimes in classes um, the kids have um, got to the end of their tether by the time it's at the end of the class when we could have a little chat and I need to go out and dive in and separate. Um, so it's quite nice on the Sundays to be able to have a little chat with you. I know sometimes it's not the um, ideal time, but you're more than welcome to bring little ones with you, come along without little ones, um, have partners with you, not have partners. It is all cool. So hopefully we shall see some of you at 2.30 tomorrow as well. Have a lovely rest of your Saturday afternoon um, and take care. Keep safe. Stay at home unless you need to go to work. And if you are one of your key workers, one of our key workers, thank you very much for keeping us all safe and going. We really, really, really do appreciate it. Bye-bye.